أنا عم أصورك. الطائر الطائر مش حتتذكريه. لبنان وراكي. علي حمود. I thank them all. I also want to appreciate and thank the brain of uh, Dr. Rashid, Dr. Mustafa Rashid, um, the good model of Muslim, who uh, is he here? He just spoke now. Okay. <laughs> He gives a very good model of Muslim. Uh, if anyone um, uh, of you follows his writers, his writings, and his opinions, uh, he, and we can't help um, appreciate what he writes. As uh, Dr. Med had said. Right now, the first revolution all over history rose in ancient Egypt. Fifty centuries passed. And that's a perfect answer for those who uh, claim that Egypt, uh, Egyptians who claim that Egyptians never repel and accept their rulers, regardless uh, whether they are good or bad, honest or tyrant, accomplish justice or wrong people. And actually now, we have already just finished the little war in which we step down the criminals terrorist gang, so-called Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, they are gang. And we are ready, we are ready now for uh, the great war in which we have to face the real enemies, the real enemies um, in my uh, consideration are uh, ignorance and poverty. Because these Ugly uh, enemies, I, uh, in, in my opinion, uh, are uh, the real uh, um, cause that step up Muslim Brotherhood on the head of Egypt. Speaking about Coptic or Copts, they are ever and ever along eras and decades, are the party who pay the bill, the great bill of uh, freedom and liberty. It's like the fate, the fate. I remember uh, a speech, uh, I wrote about it for uh, the late Pop Schnoder in uh, 1981. He said, I sacrifice my soul for uh, any uh, Egyptian Muslim, alike, just alike, I sacrifice my soul for any Egyptian uh, Christian. Christian. 
But in the matter of fact, I wrote that in, a, in an article before, that we owe Muslim Brotherhood a big thank. Uh, I, I myself appreciate uh, uh, many things they did, even, even unwillingly to us. For instance, they wanted to cut out tongues. For the end of life, to accept, uh, they wanted to cut out, to cut our tongues. For the end of our life, to accept whatever they do in scattering about our land into pieces uh, for Sudan and uh, for Ahlu Ashira in Sudan and for in, uh, Gaza and Qatar and so on. But what really happened is the contrary. We screamed out, saying, step down and go away. They wanted, they wanted to bury the Egyptian woman and omit her face and with her voice. But what really happened is the contrary. Women screamed out uh, and said, woman's voice is the revolution. Sawt al-mar'a, thawra step down and go away. And finally, they wanted and planned to scatter apart Coptic Muslims and the Christians in Egypt. But what actually happened is the contrary. Muslims and Christians became more and more one solid hand and one united voice saying step down and go away. Actually, we relay, we in Egypt, we Egyptian live in Egypt, Re relay a lot uh, on our uh, colonists all over the world, here in Sydney and in America and Europe and everywhere, to give a hand to face uh, with us the real enemies. Uh, I just spoke about uh, ignorance and uh, poverty. We we need to collapse all the for for for, for example uh, the education system to zero and rebuild it on another way for not keeping data keeping data and recalling data but to uh, teach students how to think how to analyze data, how to give an opinion, not to recall like parrots whatever they read in books and uh, what others said. As long as the education system is like what is in Egypt now, I don't uh, think we have any hope to rise or to uh, develop and we will be uh, more and more maybe uh, another Muslim Brotherhood come. Not, not uh, uh, specifically Muslim Brotherhood like that, but I mean uh, terrorism any, in any way and ignorance and so on. I don't know how, to, how you can give hand uh, in that, but it's uh, a battle, it's a war, and we have all uh, together uh, in one hand, in one voice, to uh, rebuild our new Egypt. Now Egypt worth investment in it and uh, now we retrieved our land. And uh, we have a dream and uh, I think uh, we are going to make uh, a new Egypt uh, worth its um, unique name and its respectable day. Thank you.